Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today we'll be exploring Genesis 15 and seeing how God tells Abraham about the good times and the bad times that lie in store for his descendants. Now, if you want to be a read on the show, all you have to do is send me a message to this email address and I'll send you full details of how you can do that. You can use that same address if you wish to discuss anything that I mention in the show or even if you would like to send me a prayer request. Please be sure to subscribe. It makes this channel more noticeable among the YouTube community. Hopefully it helps more people know that we exist and are here on a daily basis. Not only that, I'm offering bonus videos to those of you who subscribe. Now let's do things right and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 15 after these things, Yahweh's voice came to Abram in a vision, saying, Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Abram said, Lord, what will you give me, since I go childless, and he who will inherit my estate is Eliza of Damascus? Abram said, Behold to me, you have given no children. Behold, one born in my house is my heir. Behold, Yahweh's voice came to him, saying, This man will not be your heir, but he who will come out of your own body will be your heir. Yahweh brought him outside and said, Look now toward the sky, and count the stars. If you are able to count them, he said to Abraham, so will your offspring be. He believed in Yahweh, who credited him for his righteousness. He said to Abraham, I am Yahweh. We brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees to give you this land to inherit it. He said, Lord Yahweh, how will I know that I will inherit it? He said to him, Bring me a heifer three years old, a female goat three years old, a ram three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these and divided them in the middle, and laid each half opposite the other. But he didn't divide the birds. The birds of prey came down on the carcasses, and Abram drove them away. When the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on Abram. Now a terror and great darkness fell on him. He said to Abram, Know for sure that your offspring will live as far as the land that is not theirs. I will serve them. They will afflict them four hundred years. I will also judge that nation whom they will serve. Afterward they will come out with great wealth, but you will go to your fathers in peace. You will be buried at a good old age. In the fourth generation they will come here again. The iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. It came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold a smoking furnace, a flaming torch passed between these pieces. In that day Yahweh made a covenant with Abraham, saying, I have given this land to your offspring, from the river of Egypt, the great river, the river Euphrates, the Kenites, the Kesinites, the Kadamites, the Hittites, the Perseites, the Raphim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Gergesites, and the Jezebusites.